All right, guys, went well, back today with a much requested video on the channel, taking a look at a budget digital night vision monocular with a 1X setting. This is the brand new Night Fox Prowl, and Night Fox has had strong tradition of making high value and budget digital night vision for your average everyday user. Now, their night vision is not going to be something like a military grade PVS 14, and it's not even trying to compete with something like the Psyonix digital night vision setup that costs six or seven hundred dollars. These generally come in well below $300 depending on the configuration, making it incredibly affordable. With that, you definitely get some sacrifices, but you get a very interesting setup to allow you to look around at night, and they have a ton of advancements in their latest generation of the Night Fox Swift 2 Pro, which I just reviewed on the channel, as well as their new Night Fox Pro, which is the first of its kind that I've ever seen a digital night vision binocular. Now, the cool thing about this is inside the box it comes with a head strap and the mounting system allowing you to attach it to a gopro mount or a dovetail mount depending on the configuration you want to set up on your ballistic helmet if you're interested in ballistic helmets definitely wait for the black friday sale on guard dog armor these helmets are going to be sub 300 dollars and it's insanely awesome deals so definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so I've also noticed a lot of guys have been getting unsubscribed lately for some odd reason. Definitely check that subscription and click that notification bell. In a nutshell, this is going to be the pretty much same setup as the Swift 2 Pro, but instead of looking with both eyes at a larger screen, you're going to be looking at a smaller screen with one eye in this digital night vision monocular. The controls are pretty simple. You can turn it on, you can control the IR, you can record, and you can zoom in and out digitally. Now, the other cool thing about the new night vision is the fact that they're utilizing a dual IR, both 850 and 940 nanometers. Now that is going to leave it undetected at the lowest setting by the human eye. A lot of times digital IR night vision emitters are going to put out a red hue. With the dual emitter, again at that first setting, you're not going to leave that red trace, allowing you to be very undetected and incredibly more stealthy than if you were using the traditional, um, the, uh, the standard nanometer meter width for that uh, that wavelength of the IR that a lot of other digital night vision have utilized in the past. Now you can adjust everything for your focus for the distance you're going to be looking at back here and kind of fine tune everything in the front and it focuses fairly nicely. The other cool thing is it does have this XY axis system built into the mount itself included with the digital night vision so you can loosen some of these up and adjust the length that night vision is close to your face and then it's going to be left and right so it fits perfectly and um, the mounting setup here is absolutely spectacular when it comes to the monocular itself. I also love the fact that this can actually record. So if you were utilizing this for airsoft or different surveillance applications and hunting applications, you can actually record what you're doing. Now, again, when we are discussing this budget digital night vision, we have to remember its limitations, and I want to start talking about those. When you're looking at the screen, you definitely notice that it's a smaller screen rather than the new Swift 2 Pro, which I reviewed just a few weeks ago. And because of that, you can't make out a ton of stuff at a distance. Distance. At the intro of the video, I was looking at deer at about 85 yards, and I could make them out um, a just body shape, so I couldn't tell exactly what they were. Now, with my context clues and knowing my location, I probably figure out they were deer. As soon as I utilized the digital zoom, I could make out the silhouette and understand that they were deer. With the Swift 2 Pro, I did not have this problem at the 1X setting. At 80 yards, I could clearly make out the fact that they were deer. So there's some sacrifices of going with the monocular and looking at a smaller screen with one eye, then looking at both eyes open on the larger screen. But with that being said, the cool thing about this is you can actually look at out into a field or around uh, some type of playing field in an airsoft scenario and actually use the other eye to look down if there's just enough light to kind of navigate your terrain and get your bearings. It's much harder to walk around with the Swift 2 Pro when both eyes are looking at the night vision. It definitely doesn't give you any depth perception when you're looking at a solid screen for a digital night vision optic, so this is going to be better for navigating and moving around. If you're going to be remaining standing still, the other Swift 2 Pro from Night Fox is going to be a little bit better 
um, than this for kind of staying stagnant and making out your target a little bit better. Both are going to suffer from a slower refresh rate though, meaning when you're turning your head and walking around, the screen's gonna be blurry as it transitions around. Now, it's still very usable when you're scanning slowly across the field for different hunting applications, but for true running and navigating uh, close quarters, moving around quickly, you're gonna have that blur and lag and refresh rate. Now, with something like the $1,000 or even $3,000 digital night vision, that is much more reduced. And with PVS 14s coming in right at around $3,500, you're not going to have that at all. But remember, guys, we are talking about a monocular that comes in at $250. Then you apply the $30 coupon code and my discount codes in the description below. And this gets close to about $200 with the mounts. We have to keep that in perspective. And nothing on the market compares to these two setups, the brand new setups, either the digital monocular or the digital binoculars at this price point. Uh, at this price point. So if you wanted to get into some digital night vision, especially hunting applications, especially with some of the brand new laser options from Votatu that I recently reviewed, the IR lasers coming in right at around $50 on sale, you can mount that $50 IR emitter laser to your weapon system and allow you to do some night vision target shooting or some night vision hunting applications for hogs and coyotes. And a lot of times, in my state at least, you can hunt uh, hogs and coyotes with night vision with no restrictions and utilizing those IR lasers. This would be the perfect application to get into something like that. For the entire package, less than 300 bucks. That is unheard of. And Night Fox has really made night vision available to the masses. Again, do not be confused. This is not truly professional grade night vision by any means, but it does get the job done. And I hope the intro videos of both this video and the last video give you an understanding and a perspective of what about $250 digital night vision is capable of in 2023. All of the information and linking will be in the description below. And a huge shout out to Night Fox for sending this out to the channel for me to review. They sent me this as well as a Swift 2 Pro and I don't have to send it back. I'm going to keep it and continue to make videos with it and really try it out for long-term testing and evaluation. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.